a vigil is beginning in Manchester for the victims of the most deadly terror attack in Britain for a decade. The people of Manchester have fallen victim to a callous terrorist attack. An attack that targeted some of the youngest people in our society with cold calculation. The explosion coincided with the conclusion of a pop concert which was attended by many young families and groups of children. 22 people have died and 59 people have been injured. I was actually walking my dog and there was a guy there and he said there's been a big bomb attack in Manchester. And straight away I'm thinking, please no, not the concert that I knew some of our kids would be going to. I went with my 10-year-old niece and Freya, who's in the school, and um, it was a good night. We were waiting to be let out to walk down to the foyer area, and while we were waiting, no one would let us pass, and all of a sudden we had like a massive explosion, and it went quiet, and then everyone just started screaming and running. The moment of fear that went from my mind is just gal. And then Freya was running down to the stairwell where everyone was getting crushed and everyone was like getting stampled on. And then luckily I saw this crush at the top of the arena open a door. If we did go the way that we were going, we would have run into everything. So Billy made the decision to go to the top exit. So Billy like kind of saved our lives. When we got out, it was just the sound of screams, the sound of ambulances and it didn't, didn't seem real. And um, the next day I found out 22 people had died. And everyone was saying it's like losing a family member because you're also losing a family member. <sighs> Thanks everybody for coming in. Uh, important meeting obviously after the Manchester attack. We had a number of students who were there, and it was my job to make sure they were all safely accounted for, luckily. They all were. Michelle, you went on the terrorism training. I mean, I did, what was, yeah. what, can you give uh, us an update yeah, on that? Yeah, so I got information about what to do if some, someone came to attack our school. Um, so that's more about firearm and weapon attacks, and it's about run, hide and then tell. It's stark, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Yeah. We need to deliver this properly, though, to yeah, kids, but we've got to deliver it in the right way. Yeah. yeah. It's the support we give to our Muslim community yeah. in here as well, isn't it? Because yeah. they will be the ones that will be feeling hypersensitive. Yeah. For it to happen close to home, it's... I don't, there's no words, isn't there? Things have changed. A lot of Muslims have had a lot of, you know, hate thrown towards them. A lot of work needs to be done on how to deal with racial tension or people attacking other people's religions since these bombings. I mean, following the attack, I personally dealt with two issues. And one were some of the Year 8 boys thought it was funny to shout something inappropriate to a Year 8 Muslim girl. It was thoughtless. Yeah, it, it was thoughtless more than malicious. But they, they had crossed the line. People are angry. And this whole idea of Islamophobia will rise to the surface. And we've got to deal with it quickly as a school. It's about trying getting the kids to discuss, you know, people's different cultural beliefs and backgrounds and, you know, how these things are not directly linked to religion. Yeah. We are in a messed up world. It makes you question, are we doing enough as people, you know, to sort the world out? And I don't think we are. But I think the one place where we can start making changes and having a better society is, you know, through educating kids at school. That's brilliant. Thanks, Michelle. OK. I think young people are shocked, worried, but they're also extremely resilient. And if you see how our young people respond to this, you'll see how we should do it in society. They'll embrace it and they'll find a way through. It's terrible, absolutely terrible what that person did. I feel like my future is not safe at all. I feel like I should be living in a different world on a different, different planet. Kids died, which is not a good thing, you know. But obviously some idiot with a ideology, you know, coming, oh, I kill him, you know, I'm gonna be in paradise. Obviously that's what you're being brainwashed with. Does it make you feel differently about Muslims? Um, I don't know. It's like half 
50-50. Cos some are nice, polite, always being nice, and some are not right, <laughs> like idiots. Him is a Muslim and now the people thinking all the Muslim, the Muslim people are are not good. We don't need to have them in there in this country. How about if in the future we we're not allowed in this country anymore? That's why I'm worried. <laughs>